First of all, I'd like uh, to, uh, if you could relate to uh, something that we're reading in the Makori Show newspaper today that the J Street Forum are actually uh, promoting and uh, calling on the Obama administration to pressure Israel not to attack Iran. Well, I think it's inappropriate uh, on one count to uh, advocate taking any of the options off the table. I think that's the surest way that you're going to lead to a military option. Second of all, I think that it's uh, irresponsible to inv invoke this position when you see the overwhelming sentiment and understanding of the American people, the American Congress, and the administration, as well as other governments around the world, who've come to see the reality of what the danger is and the potential danger of an Iran that is the leading state sponsor of terror, the leader violator of human rights, that threatens to, to destroy Israel and threatens the other Arab countries, moderate Arab countries in this region, uh, as well as Muslim countries in its neighborhood, Europe, the United States, it's active in South America and around the world. Think of adding to that the nuclear weapons capacity. So the vote in the Senate of 100 to 0, I think, is the clearest statement of the understanding of the American people and our elected representatives, and it shows that those who would come with a position like this are really out of step, out of step with the American people, out of step with the reality in the Middle East. Now, uh, we're talking here at the, uh, the, uh, the big uh, summit of the Conference of Presidents of Major American Jewish Organizations. Would you say that that's one of the, the issues, the main topics here in Iran? Is that something that you're talking about a lot here? It's absolutely uh, a central issue. Uh, it is, represents a danger to Israel, a danger to the region. We know the threats that they have made against Jewish targets and Israeli targets around the world. So clearly, on many levels, it is a primary concern right now and likely to continue to be so. In issues like this, do the or Jewish organizations have any role, anything, any say? The conference presidents has had a lot to say for the last 20 years about Iran, trying to mobilize our governments and other governments to speak out on this issue, to um, mobilize support. We believe that we could have stopped this many years ago without facing the kind of deadlines that we are facing now and watching more and more centrifuges coming online, watching them increase the capacity to produce enriched uranium and uh, the missile capacity, the weaponization capacity to deliver those, uh, those nuclear uh, weapons to distant uh, places. So I think um, it is a responsibility we all have to weigh in I think it's possible to express whatever point of view you have, but it has to be done responsibly and with an understanding of the realities of the region, and most importantly, and this is where I think the, the divide comes, that you have to understand how do the Iranians see it. It's not enough for us to express our views. We have to think about how it's perceived. Is it perceived as weakness? Is it perceived as a lack of will and determination, as Ahmadinejad has said, as Haniya, as Osama bin Laden, as others, who read the statements of the West, as well-intentioned as they may be, but they see it as signs of weakness, which they will exploit. And when they hear that we're taking military option off the table, when they hear that there's not the resolve to, to execute the sanctions fully, they believe that it's a green light for them to move ahead. Now, uh, this gathering in Jerusalem is also happening as the, the elections, the internal elections in the Republican Party is going on, and we're hearing a lot about Israel. It seems that every candidate is trying to show how much they support Israel. This is also happening in wake of lots of tensions between Jerusalem and Israel, lots of uh, criticism about uh, President Obama regarding his relations with Israel. Where do the major Jewish organizations hold on that issue? Do you want to influence? Do you want to sit back and say, uh, we're not going into political issues? Well, we don't endorse candidates. Tax exempt bodies don't do that. We meet with all of the candidates. We have hosted them. We uh, continue to, to engage with them, Republicans and Democrats. You also have to remember we have a very important congressional election this year, and with reapportionment and with many retirements, there will be a new Congress uh, after this uh, coming election. It's also many months away. and. In politics, a month is a lifetime, let alone six, seven months, so much can happen. Uh, our job is to try and reach out, to educate, to advocate with the candidates, and then to go to the polls and vote as people wish. And the issue of uh, the support for Israel is an issue that you want to be on the table and that people will continue to be talking about? Well, I think amongst the Republican candidates, they've expressed very strongly pro-Israel views and uh, positions. And I think the administration, uh, President Obama laid it out in his speech in the United Nations. Uh, I think that there are other concerns uh, on, on all sides that have been raised by different organizations in the community. 
we believe that Israel is a consensus issue in this election, that uh, all of the parties have expressed strong support for the U.S.-Israel relationship. And what we have to do now is to lay the framework that no matter who gets elected, that that will be the reality after next November.